Hello and welcome to the Rocks and Chains YouTube channel. My name is Fleur Hastings and today I'm going to show you how to make a chainmail weave called Sweet Pea. So Sweet Pea is a beautiful weave. It's almost like a segment weave so you can see here and I'll, you'll see some better photos um, when we get up close and personal in the uh, in the actual tutorial. But it's a gorgeous weave um, using jump rings of around four millimeters so the four millimeter inner diameter is about the biggest jump ring that you can go to when it's made on a one mil wire it needs an aspect ratio of about 3.8 to 4 so it's very very small aspect ratio so there's not that many jump ring sizes that we can use to actually make this um, I use a four mil inner diameter jump ring that's made on a one millimeter wire which gives me that perfect four millimeter aspect ratio like I said before, it's a beautiful weave. It's not one that um, you need to be scared of. It's not a really, really scary weave. It's not a hard weave to understand and to make. It's a little bit tricky to start with because obviously um, all chainmail is a little bit tricky because there's no pattern when you start. The pattern starts to evolve the more jump rings that you put in. Um, I'm gonna put a link below as well to um, the kits that are on my website for this weave in those kits you'll get a starter weave as well so you can just start to add on to that starter weave or you can make your own weaves from scratch um, i'm going to also link in the description um how to make the clasp and i might if i can work out how to put it up up on there somewhere or it might be down there somewhere or wherever but there'll be a link um to the tutorial that shows you how to make the clasp as well so Let's get your tools and let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with this gorgeous weave. So this weave, as we were saying, is uh, called Sweet Pea and it uses jump rings of an aspect ratio of between 3.8 and 4. So there's very little room for sort of like um, different sizes with this weave. I prefer to use a 4mm jump ring in a diameter 4mm jump ring made on a 1mm wire. I find that this is a really nice, makes a substantial chain but not too chunky and not too fine. But it is, it's just a really, really beautiful little weave to learn. Okay, so like I say, these jump rings that I'm using now are 4mm inner diameter jump ring made on a 1mm wire which gives you your 4 aspect ratio. So. I've gone ahead and I've pre-closed a colour, one colour of jump rings and I've just pre-opened a couple of other jump rings, okay? So we're going to have two different colours just for demo purposes, just so you can see, but the gold jump rings are going to stay as horizontal jump rings and the red jump rings are going to stay as vertical jump rings or portrait and landscape, whichever you want to know them as. I've got a little safety pin here, which I use just to start my weaves with. Um, but if you've got a paper clip or something like that, that's absolutely fine. We're gonna need our trusty pliers. Um, in this case, as usual, I have my chisel nose and my bent nose, both Zuron pliers. Um, I absolutely love these pliers. They are my favorite to use, um, but I've not used all types of pliers yet so you never know there might be another one out there that I love even more but for the time being these two are what we're using okay but you can use whichever you have in your in your toolkit so we're going to start by adding three closed jump rings to one open jump ring okay so we're going to pick up this open jump ring and we're going to just add on three closed jump rings now if you've ever done a weave called um full persian this the way that i do um sweet pea is very similar to full persian Ooh, one's jumped off come back here that's why they call jump rings because they leap everywhere right so i've got three closed jump rings on there and i've got my safety pin on there and i'm going to close that gold jump ring up okay so now I've got something to hold on to and my jump rings to start my weave okay now as we were saying the gold jump rings are going to stay as horizontal jump rings or as um, landscape jump rings and the red jump rings are going to stay as portrait jump rings or vertical jump rings whichever you want to know them as now the same as full Persian we're going to pick up some we're going to pick up these jump rings in a specific order. So the order that we're going to pick these jump rings up is jump ring number one, jump ring number three, and then jump ring number two. So it goes one, three, two. 
Okay, now as you can see, I'm holding this weave on my index finger. So I'm pinching it with my thumb and my index finger on that very first jump ring. So the horizontal jump ring. And I'm just supporting it on my index finger. So I can move those jump rings around and they can stay where they are because they're being sort of like pinched there with my finger, with my thumb, sorry. So I'm picking up my first jump ring. I'm going to pick up number one, like we said. Pick up jump ring number one. I'm going to go over the top of jump ring number two and I pick up jump ring number three. And then using my index finger, I'm gonna push forward jump ring number two. Okay, so you can see there, I'll just do that again for you because I did take it out of shot. Okay, so I'll just open those up again. So I'm gonna pick up jump ring number one, pick up jump ring number three, and push forward jump ring number two and pick up jump ring number two. Okay, and just pop that through there and close that jump ring up. So when we bring that back round to the front, you can see that this now, oh, can you focus? That's it. You can see the formation that it's gone in. One, three, and two. It's pushed jump ring number two forward. Now the same with um, sweet pea and full Persian. What we do is on one side, we have to do on the other. So we're gonna turn our work over and we're gonna make sure that the whatever you're holding this weave with is in the middle now of those two red jump rings. It can't go to one side. It's gonna stay in the middle. We've now got the same route that we need to go through, okay? So again, I'm gonna pick up jump ring number, uh, my gold jump ring, sorry, and I go again through jump ring number one. Let me just move those pliers out of the way so it doesn't focus on them. Through jump ring number one, through jump ring number three, and then through jump ring number two. Now I find it easier to push that jump ring onto jump ring number two rather than trying to dig down with the end of this jump ring, okay? And again, we're going to close. So again, we've gone one, three, two. And there's our first little segment of Sweet Pea done. So then to move on to do the next segment, we need another gold jump ring. So we need another horizontal jump ring. If I turn this to the side, you can see that the red jump ring there of jump ring number two. I'm gonna add this jump ring to jump ring number two, but it has to sit in between the two gold jump rings that were there previously, okay? So I'm gonna add that on, so you can see it's sitting in between. There we go. Okay, so you can see where it is. And before I close, I'm gonna add on three more closed jump rings. I'm going to close, close that up. So now I'm back to the beginning again, where I can now, I've got a gold jump ring. Let me just move those pliers, there we go. A gold jump ring and three red jump rings. Okay, so I'm back now to the beginning where I can pick up a gold jump ring, exactly the same. I'm gonna pick up jump ring number one, pick up jump ring number three, pushing forward jump ring number two, so you can see I've pushed that forward with my finger and then just slide that jump ring through. I've got it resting on there. Picking up my other pliers and close, cl oops, sorry, close that jump ring up. Okay, so there's my first jump ring in place. Turning my work over. It's really important I turn my work over and making sure that this, the previous number two jump ring here is sitting in between jump ring number one and three of my next unit. So turning that over, take my next gold jump ring and exactly the same route, one, three, and then rather than trying to force this jump ring round, pushing that red jump ring round onto there, one, three, two, 
oops, and drop. Let's try that again. One, three, and two. And just holding that and closing that jump ring up. So you can see there that jump ring's nice and closed. We've got all our jump rings in sequence. So before we 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 can go any further, we need to add on our next gold jump ring. So again, it's going to attach to jump ring number two, which is here. It has to sit in between the two previous gold jump rings. And we're gonna add on our three closed jump rings and close. And now we can then carry on the weave we can carry on going until we have our desired length. So this is what it looks like in the, in two colours. And like I say, you can you can do this in any colours you want. And um, the sample piece that I made up, which is here, is in bare copper. Um, I think it's a beautiful metal to use bare copper because you can heat patina it. You can patina it with a boiled egg, liver of sulphur, and then polish back so you've got some high spots and low spots. And then again. The clasp is on a separate video, which you can find um, in the description. And I think I put a card up as well to show how to do that. So that's your Sweet Pea Weave. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, I'd love it if you could subscribe to my channel and maybe hit the notification button so you become aware of when I post another video. But until next time, I'll see you soon.